This video is brought to you by RhinoShield. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the best way to transfer all of your data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. I'll be going from my iPhone 13 to my new iPhone 14 Pro, but the same process will apply for all recent iPhones. So this process is going to carry over everything uh, from your music, videos, photos, messages, uh, even things like your settings and your wallpaper. You're essentially gonna be mirroring your old iPhone right to your new one. Believe me, this is gonna save you lots of time uh, from having to re-download and re-log into all of your online accounts. Now, at the end of the video, I'm also gonna show you how to uh, erase your old iPhone so you can safely sell it uh, or pass it on without compromising any of your data. So with that out of the way, we are ready to get started. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna want to do, of course, is take your beautiful new iPhone out of the box. So in this case here, I have this really nice iPhone 14 Pro in this slate black color, uh, space black color, I mean. The first thing we're gonna do is boot up the phone by pressing holding the side button, and that will then bring the display to life. Let's go ahead and move the box out of the way here. And uh, what I like to do and recommend to everyone doing this as well at home uh, is make sure to plug in both of your phones into uh, the charger as you don't want any battery dying, especially for that new phone. The battery may show quite full, but you never know really uh, what the charge level is like straight out of the factory. So I always recommend uh, plugging in both phones to a charger to make sure that there's no disruption to the transfer process. So we'll plug in the 14 Pro and then the 13 as well. All right, so now that both phones are charging uh, and plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the new phone. We get the hello uh, screen here, swipe up from the bottom, and we will go ahead and select the language and select the country. And then right after that, you're gonna start to see a pop-up on your old phone that is going to look like this, which will give you an option to automatically set up the new iPhone right from your old iPhone. And this is exactly what we're gonna do. Now, if this pop-up does not appear on your old phone, make sure that the Wi-Fi is on in your settings uh, as this will be required in order to connect and recognize the new phone uh, and then later transfer the data. So once you get this pop-up, we're gonna go ahead and select continue on the old phone and this will then connect. So we'll give it a second here. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna have to identify the new phone. So the uh, camera will open on the old phone. You can see we get the little viewfinder and you're gonna want to get this shape into the circle. So let's go ahead and align the two. There we go. It has just recognized it and it will now see the new iPhone. And there we go. So it's already started transferring things over. We now have the option to uh, continue with your current Apple ID. This will be the one that is logged into your old phone. You're gonna want to make sure to do this if you're setting this up for yourself as this will automatically start to carry over all of your iCloud data. So let's go ahead and set up for me. And then we'll move over to the new iPhone where we now have to type in the password to our old iPhone. There we go. So we'll go ahead and give this a second here. And as you can see, it is now setting up. Uh, and in this process, make sure to keep both phones on, awake, and of course plugged in and nearby as they are communicating with each other uh, as the transfer process will shortly begin. And there we go. The first thing we're gonna do is go over to the new phone and set up Face ID. So let's go ahead and hit continue here and we'll go ahead and get started. There we go, and here we go. I'm gonna have to get away from the camera here, from behind the camera, and let's go ahead and set this up. And once that is complete, we do have the option also to set up Face ID with a mask. Uh, this is useful if you still wear masks often. Uh, here in the UK, we actually don't wear them that often anymore, so I will go ahead and set that up later. Uh, but you do also have the option to turn on the feature, uh, which will enable you to use Face ID whilst you're wearing a mask. Uh, if you don't have an Apple Watch, I definitely recommend you turn this on, uh, and if you do still wear masks regularly. So we'll go ahead and set that up later for now uh, in settings. So we now have Face ID complete, and we'll go ahead and select continue. And here we go. All right, so this is the crucial step uh, where we have the two different options for transferring data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. Now we have two options here. The first option is to download from iCloud. Now, if you don't already have a backup in iCloud, uh, you will get temporary free storage, and this will allow you to back up your old phone and then re-download ba uh, download that backup to your new phone. In my experience, I have found this option to be slightly faster, uh, especially if you have good Wi-Fi, uh, but then you can also transfer directly from the old iPhone to the new iPhone. Now this will take a little bit longer, uh, but will also involve less steps. So this will allow you to transfer directly from your old phone to your new phone. Uh, you just need to make sure that you keep the phones close. Now, either option, regardless of which one you choose, will transfer all of your data, uh, as mentioned earlier on in the video, whether it be your files, even your settings, wallpaper, etc. So let's go ahead and uh, do the second option here, which is the transfer from the iPhone. Go ahead and tap that there. 
And here we go. So now we have the option on the new iPhone to choose exactly what we do and what we don't want to carry over. Now you do have the option to customize this if say there are specific files that you don't want carried over. Uh, but in this case, we're gonna be transferring everything from the old iPhone. Uh, so all we're gonna do now is press continue. There we go. And here we have the option to share your iPhone analytics with Apple. Uh, this is completely up to you. Personally, I prefer to not share them. And then here we have the screen that details the new emergency features uh, that you'll get on the new iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro line. Uh, this includes two really powerful features, including crash detection, which will automatically detect if you're ever in a severe car crash. And then if you do not respond, will automatically call emergency services for you. This is a feature I hope to never need, but it's still reassuring to have on in the background. Uh, and the same goes for emergency SOS via satellite, which will allow you to message for help if you are in an area even without uh, cell service. So this is great if you are off grid uh, or in a really remote area. So let's go ahead and select continue here. And now the data transfer will begin going from the old iPhone over to the new iPhone. Now this will take a little while. So what I'm gonna do here is put the two phones next to each other. Again, keep them on charge and we're gonna go ahead and let this process finish. While we wait for the data uh, to transfer, one of the first things I do with any new smartphone is get some good protection. And this is where the broad range of cases and accessories from Rhino Shield come in. Made to have a positive impact on your phone, your style, and the planet. And this starts with the case. Made with 360 degree protection, your phone is now protected to military grade standards with endless customization options to express your style, from different case types to colors, and they even have awesome design collaborations with other brands and creators. These days, phones are only getting bigger, and a great way to add some protection uh, and additional security is with a grip. Rhino Shield's Grip Mini and Grip Max adhesive version use adhesive to mount to your case. Quickly extend the grip to easily rest your fingers. You've also got the Grip Max MagSafe version, which can instantly be added or removed and has more than two times the magnetic strength of the standard MagSafe. I especially like that the grips can also act as a stand. And then to protect your display, Rhino Shield offers their 3D impact screen protectors and all come with an installation frame for easy application. Rhino Shield's cases come with a lifetime replacement warranty and are available for iPhones and Android flagships. To learn more and protect your phone, uh, be sure to click the link in the description and use code DEONHOLIDAY for 20% off your order during the first week and 10% off after that. All right guys, we are back and the file transfer uh, has now completed. Uh, as you can see, everything is now ready on my new phone. Go ahead and bring up the old phone side by side here. Transfer complete, your data has been transferred to your other phones. We can go ahead and slide to unlock and there it is. As you can see, face ID uh, already recognized my face as we set that up earlier. Uh, we'll go ahead and use location sharing, yes. Uh, now, some of your apps may still need to download in the background. Uh, I've had my phone on the table for some time now, so it's already done so. Uh, but on your phone, that may still take a few minutes to download, uh, but that essential core data will all be transferred over. Uh, as you can see, all of my apps are there, my wallpaper, everything uh, is carried over. And then over on the old, uh, old phone, we can go ahead and swipe up here, go ahead and unlock it. New device added to account, great. Go ahead and press continue here. And this will then immediately give us the option to erase the old iPhone. Now you can go ahead and do this through here, but for now, I'm gonna show you not now, uh, and show you how to do this through these settings. Uh, but just first guys, have a look. As you can see, these two phones are now identical. Everything that's transferred over from this phone will now be on this phone and you can carry on using your new phone as you would. So there you go guys, as you can see, everything has now been transferred over. Uh, it even moved over the open app, so we'll remember the uh, order in which those were. You have your messages, uh, music, everything is now carried over to the new phone. Uh, and what we can now do is erase the old phone as I think uh, iPhones hold their uh, value much better than most other phones. So a great thing to do with your old phone is to either sell it uh, or to maybe pass it on to a family member or friend. But before you do that, you're gonna want to make sure uh, that you erase all of your data as of course, uh, you're not gonna want to make sure uh, that that gets passed on and that that stays private to you. So how do you do this? Well, first we're gonna go into the settings tab and then we're gonna go into general and then scroll all the way down to where it says transfer or reset iPhone. That's the uh, second last option here. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then we're gonna press the bottom option, erase all content and settings. And then from here, it's gonna confirm what it will be removing. So remove all of your app's data, your Apple ID, Find My, as well as your wallet. 
go ahead and press continue. And there we go. So it's going to be backing up your data to the cloud. I'm um, going to go ahead and skip that for now as I don't need that backup anymore. Uh, and now you're going to type in your Apple ID password and this will turn off find my iPhone as well as the activation lock. So let me go ahead and type that in here. And then we have the option to erase the iPhone. Uh, of course, there is no going back once you click this. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to press erase iPhone and yes, erase it. Here we go. And there we go, guys. We now get the Apple logo in uh, a loading screen. This shouldn't take all too long, uh, but once this finishes, it's going to automatically restart the phone. And then we'll show you a similar setup process uh, to what we saw on this iPhone once it was new. Uh, but the point is, after that, you can set it up as a new iPhone uh, or let that person transfer from their previous phone or from an older backup. Uh, and all of your data is now safely removed so you can uh, go and hand off this phone with complete peace of mind. Now, while this phone uh, erases itself in the background, uh, I want to show you something that I consider to be really essential uh, for any iPhone user, and that is to set up an iCloud backup. Not only does an iCloud backup make it super easy to transfer your files from one phone to another, it also gives you the peace of mind of knowing that there's always a backup uh, available in the cloud of all of your phone's data. If ever say your phone is lost uh, or stolen, you don't have to worry about losing what ultimately matters most, uh, and that is that precious data. So with iCloud backup, it will actually do a backup every 24 hours in the background, thus making sure that all of your latest messages, apps, everything uh, is secured in the cloud. Now to do this, we're gonna go into the settings option and then we'll select uh, on the name, which will be in the top of the menu. And then we will click onto iCloud and then scroll down to where it says iCloud Backup, and you're gonna to want to make sure that this is turned on. Now, chances are you will have to pay for extra storage. As standard, iCloud is only gonna give you five gigabytes, which will probably not be enough for a backup, uh, but I highly recommend you do this. For 50 gigabytes of data, you only pay $1 per month, which is $12 per year, and this should be enough for most backups, uh, but what I have personally is a 200 gigabyte plan. As you can see, I have a few uh, devices backed up. I have my uh, 14 Pro Max, my iPad Pro, as well, as this phone here, uh, and this will only cost $3 per month, which equates to $36 per year. Uh, and believe me, that is a very small price to pay for having that reassurance uh, and knowing that you will always have a backup in the cloud if ever your phone is lost or stolen. Uh, if there's any service that I can wholeheartedly recommend, uh, this is definitely it, just for that added peace of mind, knowing that if my phone is ever gone, my data will not be. So now that you've set up your new iPhone, uh, I highly recommend watching my first 10 things to do with any new iPhone to get the most out of its performance, uh, features, as well as the battery life. I'll be sure to leave that video linked on screen right now, as well as down in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.